we're gonna put this jack plate on the back of this boat. Bam, I'm gonna leave this on since I kind of got it welded on there, even though my welds are cracking. They're still holding good right here. And not to mention, I got them bolted down. That bolting it down was probably more than enough with these little motors I'm messing with. All right, what material I got was 12 inch, one and a half by one and a half angle. This is eighth inch thick. Now, I think eighth inch is totally fine with these motors I'm dealing with. And if you're talking about doing a jack plate for something larger, like a nine horse and up, I would probably go with something a little stouter, like, you know, three sixteenths or a quarter inch would be uh, pretty good. But I think eighth inch is gonna be fine for, for what we're using for it. So I had some exterior grade three quarter inch plywood and I cut me two pieces eight by 10 and glued them together. And I'm going to uh, coat them with epoxy or fiberglass resin and that's probably not 100% necessary, but I just feel like it's good to do with plywood or any kind of wood that's gonna be in and around water. And then I'm gonna paint it black, you know, using the same paint. And what I'm gonna do, basically, is we're gonna put this one here, probably even with the top of this thing. And then the other one is gonna go on the outside of it, like so. And we're gonna have it to where it's gonna be adjustable so we can raise it up or lower it. That way if somebody wants to put a different motor on here, they might get a motor that has a short shaft and they don't need it, they'll be able to drop it down. And uh, the plywood is gonna go on the outside. We're gonna have two of these. We're gonna do this on each side. We're gonna have us a piece right here, bolted to the transom. Then we're gonna take this piece and put it where we can slide it up and down. This is gonna be adjustable. That way if somebody wants to put a different motor on here, they'll have some adjustment to it. So you'll have both your pieces, you know, here and here parallel to each other. And then that plywood is gonna to bolt to the outside of it. So that's gonna give us about a one and a half inch offset from the transom. And then we'll be able to adjust it to get that cavitation plate right to the bottom of that boat with, you know, whatever motor you're wanting to use. So, uh, like I said, let's go ahead and work on these. I didn't film this, but this is what I got. I measured down an inch and I found center and I drilled me a hole and then I went down two and a half inches and drilled another hole. Actually, I did pilot holes, I think eighth inch and then I went back with five sixteenths. And then I, you can kind of see, I took a Sharpie and kind of squared it up. Then I took a jigsaw and cut it out. That way, so I got these carriage bolts, got to where they'll slide in there. That way you can adjust it. Now picking up what I'm laying down, I did it on both ends. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this plate on here. And then I took my other piece and actually I just put it up here. I basically evened them up because that would be flush with what I already have. So I don't wanna go any lower than that. And I went ahead and drilled, uh, made two marks and then drill those holes out, five sixteenths. So what we're gonna do is attach this to the transom and then we'll attach this with them carriage bolts and that way we can adjust the motor up and down where we want it. And of course, like I said before, get it right where I need it, that piece of plywood is gonna go on the outside. So it should all work out, I hope. So now what we gotta do is figure out exactly where this needs to go so we'll know where to mount these. I'm gonna mount these. I'm just gonna drill a couple holes, maybe three, with uh, five sixteenths and got some stainless steel bolts to go through here to secure both of these on. And then we can uh, mount these on with our plywood and hopefully be basically done. You know, besides painting it all up. Well, all right, I realized I messed up. So if I brought this all the way up to here, with this piece I put on, and I'm only having to go up an inch and a quarter to get those motors where they need to be, or at least the hang kai, it's not gonna give me a lot of room. You know, the, the motors are kind of like this, you know, the, the clamp, you gotta be able to, they sink down like, two inches to the bolts. So I'm only gonna have 
one and a quarter inches of clearance. <laughs> you understand, like, you know how the motor goes on like this, and it's gonna hang up on my two studs to tighten the motor down to the transom itself. So this is gonna be in my way. So I'm gonna need to take it off. Now I'm gonna have, this is gonna have to stick up high. I mean, I could drop it down some, what I plan on doing is just going in here and kind of cutting a little square out of this. I don't think that's really going to mess up the integrity of my metal too much. It's like we're, we're talking about a six and a half horse motor, so it's not like it's going to be that big of a flex. I just want to let you guys know I'm taking this off, and uh, it kind of sucks because that was an expensive piece of metal. But anyways, I'm going to take a grinder and grind my welds off. I already took the bolts out and take this off. And then we can see about mocking these up. All right, so here we go. Obviously nothing's tightened down all the way, but this is uh, basically what it's gonna be. I just kind of have it mocked up right now. Like I said, nothing's tight. I went ahead and cut off this part right here. That way, when I put the motor on, as you see, I'll have room to tighten up the bolts. This right here has this one and a quarter inch over where we had it so that should put us very very close to having the cavitation plate even with the bottom of the boat all right so now i'm gonna take it all back apart paint everything and put some more coats of fiberglass resin on the wood and then paint it too so i will see you guys when i get done doing all that Here's my plywood. I got it coated all the way around. And I painted this side because this is gonna be the inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these brackets to it. And that way I can bolt this up and then I'm gonna paint everything with, uh, with the same paint I painted the boat with. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll let you guys know, you know, I dodged a bullet right here. I should have made this wider, probably 10 by 10 instead of 10 by eight, because of, I wasn't thinking about this circle, you know, how like your motor, you got your screws and it's got the circle clamps. They barely clear these bolts right here and it's gonna kind of be catching this edge. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get away with it, but I feel like I'm too far in to change it now. But just so you know, uh, I would go at least 10 inches on this instead of eight. All right, so what we got, put it on. All right, so here we go. It is all installed. I got it a little too tight. You can see I had to use a little persuasion to get that thing on there, but it's on there, it's tight. And if you remember, I had my, that piece of aluminum was up here and we were an inch and a quarter low. So I just measured from here up an inch and a quarter and that's where I got it cinched down at. So that should put us really close. So now we're gonna go ahead and put some paint on all this, let it dry. 
And then we'll be ready to mount the motor on. All right, so we got it on there, and I can't really tell from this angle, but you can see it's still a little bit lower. So what I've concocted is a floor jack and some four by fours, put it right under the wood and loosen the four bolts on the outside. So hopefully I'll be able to jack it up a little bit and hopefully get it where it needs to be, tighten it up and we'll be golden. Well, all right, I could do a little touch up paint so it don't look so shoddy. So we can take this thing out and uh, see if it really did anything for us. I've got a big mess to clean up. Every time I hang out with y'all, y'all make a mess. What's going on? We are at one of my favorite fishing spots and it's really the only fishing spot I have that is local that I can run a motor in uh, wide open and it's 50 minutes away and that kind of sucks. But uh, we are here and I'm going to try out the jack plate. See if there's any performance improvements by adding the jack plate to it and get that cavitation plate up to where it needs to be for best performance. I think it's gonna be a, a good test. Um, hopefully there's a lot of people out there that could find the information useful. I look forward to seeing it. I, I hope it works. I really do hope it works. I hope I can get a little bit um, like i said before even a mile per hour i think that thing only cost me 30 bucks wasn't very hard to put together so one mile per hour would probably be worth it but we're gonna find out let's get this thing in the water see what she does We took it out yesterday and I got 13 miles per hour as the top speed. I would like to say the average was probably closer to 10 and 11. Uh, the only way I got 13 is by actually abandoning the motor, which I'm not saying this is a smart thing to do, and moving up to the back part of the deck. That weight distribution helped the boat get on the plane better. And I'd also like to point out that previously, when it was just bolted to the original transom, I did not do that. First time I took it out, I got 10 miles per hour peak, but it was more of averaging eight to nine. I wish I would have moved my body weight up that day. I did not. Uh, I don't think it would go all the way up to 13, um, but it might've went up to more of 11, you know, as a top, maybe even 12. I don't, who knows? but I don't think it would have jumped all the way up to 13. So I will say that the jack plate was a success. Uh, I wanted to get at least a mile per hour out of it. And I definitely got that. I know I got at least one mile per hour, maybe as much as three. It only cost me like 30 bucks. I had the hardware and the plywood and of course the paint. So all I had to really order was the angle and it was like 30 bucks shipped to my house. Actually, I think it was cheaper than that. I wanna say it was like 20 something dollars. I can't remember. I do wanna say that it was worth it. Uh, it was a fun little project. And, you know, it, it took me a couple hours to build, another hour to maybe to put it on. Pretty easy little thing. Uh, and like I said, I got at least one mile per hour gain out of it. So I think that's well worth it. 
Uh, now, if you have a bigger boat and a bigger motor, one mile per hour might not be that big of a difference. You know, trying to get the most I can out of this little outboard. When you're only talking about 13 miles per hour, one mile per hour is a lot as far as percentages go. As far as it not getting on plane, a lot of people have made some suggestions about this little motor. And I really appreciate that, by the way. They're saying to change the prop. Some people are saying that they use a seven pitch prop. It comes with an eight pitch from the factory. Usually going down in pitch will hurt you in your top end speed, but it will give you a better hole shot. I think dropping down a pitch would probably help a lot. It, it, it might not, it's not gonna help your top speed. You might even drop a mile per hour, but what it's gonna do is gonna help your average. Your, you know, like right now it's average in maybe 10, 10 to 11 with a top of 13. Uh, it might help you get to 11, 12 because it's going to get your boat on a plane faster, supposedly. Uh, if you just get a better hole shot with a lower pitch. A higher pitch is going to help your top end speed, but it's going to hurt you with trying to plane out. So we're having problems planing out. Definitely want to go, don't want to go to a nine pitch. Uh, I'm probably not going to explore that, um, basically because it's 60 bucks. Now, that's not a, a lot of money for a prop. I might be able to find one a little bit cheaper if I shop around, but uh, I'm kind of burnt out on spending money on this boat. But that being said, I did order a hydro full for it. And hydro fulls are supposed to help your boat plan out uh, on an outboard this size. I'm not expecting to see, you know, miraculous results. But, you know, they're only like, I think I got one on Amazon for 24 bucks shipped to my house. So, I mean, I, I feel like that's worth it. Probably not going to do a video on that. You know, I, I feel like it's worth mentioning in a short if I have any kind of performance gains. Or, you know, if, if I don't, you know, I'd make a video on this if I didn't get any performance gains out of the jack plate. Uh, just to let you guys know, because that's what this channel is all about, really is, you know, <laughs> my failures uh, could help you uh, save some money. So, I do recommend doing this. Um, definitely measure better than I did. Uh, I've never been a measure twice, cut once type of guy. Uh, I'm more of a eyeball and hope for the best. And that's kind of what I did, which I, I, I'd really dodged a bullet because that would have been a, a nasty mistake after I'd done drilled holes in this transom and having to go to a wider jack plate, which I wouldn't have wasted the metal. I just, you don't want extra holes in your boat that are unnecessary. But I was able to get by. I had to countersink the bolts on the back side of the plywood, the top bolts, and I just kind of filled them in with some silicone and I was able to get by with it. The motor, you know, after I tightened it down, it didn't budge. Very, very bumpy ride to that fishing hole I went to yesterday. So we're good on that. Uh, that's probably gonna be it on this boat. I know the last two videos have been more about this motor than the boat, but I am ready to move on. I'm ready to sell this thing so I can move on to the next project. Uh, this, like I said, this is a, a cool little thing. I hope it helps some of you guys out there uh, if you're wanting an extra mile per hour or two out of your small outboard motor and small boat, if you got a big boat and a bigger outboard, I don't know if it will help you out any. All I can tell you is my situation right here, 10 foot boat, six and a half horse, four stroke hang high motor. I got one to three miles per hour gain out of it. I think three miles per hour is kind of a little too much. I think most of that was the weight distribution. So anyways, it helped and I hope this video helps you guys. I appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.